Hi, I'm Dan Kowalski, Vice President of CoBank's Knowledge Exchange Division. The U.S.-China Phase 1 deal is finally here, and we're evaluating what it will mean for U.S. agriculture. What's in it, what will be the impacts, and how achievable are the provisions? The deal has broad implications for agriculture, but we'll focus in on a few highlights just for this video. First, the deal will streamline regulatory approval processes, it'll reduce non-tariff barriers, and it'll open the China market to several new products. This is a huge win for better and faster access for U.S. ag exporters, especially for the dairy, beef, and animal feed sectors. Second, China has committed to buy a lot more U.S. ag products. Using 2017 as a benchmark, China has agreed to purchase $12.5 billion of additional ag goods in 2020 and increase that sum to $19.5 billion in 2021. The 2021 value would exceed the all-time high for U.S. to China exports by 60%. There is serious debate about whether these targets can be reached. China has stated that it will continue to buy according to market conditions, and it will also need to keep buying from other suppliers to not violate its WTO obligations. This will make the target volumes difficult, but not impossible to reach. Assuming China's ag imports continue to grow on trend, the Phase 1 targets would get the U.S. share of China's imports back to pre-trade war levels. From this perspective, the increase looks reasonable but China would have to import much less from its key suppliers like Brazil. As those purchases shift to the U.S., U.S. prices are likely to rise relative to our competitors, and a persistently strong U.S. dollar will not help. This poses a likely conflict between the deal and China's commitment to buy at market prices. To further complicate things, China's tariffs on U.S. ag goods are still in place, and China has not indicated that it plans to drop them. No one knows exactly how the deal will pan out, and the market is skeptical. But if China makes a good faith effort to hit the targets established, U.S. exports of soybeans, pork, dairy products, and specialty crops should rise significantly. One caveat, however, is that even if China fulfills its target commitment, total U.S. ag exports will not rise at the same rate as the additional sales to China. As the U.S. sends more goods to China, we will supply less to other countries, partially offsetting the full benefit to U.S. agriculture. For more from Knowledge Exchange, visit cobank.com.